Hello, today I'm going to be sharing with you my Deep Deep Light set of watercolours. They're handmade watercolours and uh, it's the Winter Birds set, so I will put a link below to this particular set that has arrived. I'm going to be swatching these out today, but first of all, let's open them up and... I was actually asked how big a tin I would like um, normally because I've ordered six colours they would come in quite a small tin kind of you know, maybe about that kind of size um, but because I've already got some deep deep light watercolours and I probably will order more because I do really love them I, uh, I asked for this um, bigger tin so, um, and that didn't cost me any more, which I thought was rather lovely. So let's just lose that paper. And here we are. These are the colours. It looks like I've got some very nice dots that we can do later as well. But first of all, I want to do these particular six paints so I'm just going to pop those dots one's got a bit stuck there we go and then we can telling me to add a little bit of water to activate them that's what that little piece of paper was so these are the actual um, colors and uh, this one is called uh, great tit and it's a warm yellow in fact this is quite a warm palette that has been put together um, they're mostly warm colours. So this one is great tit. I'll put the magnets on them later. Then we've got bullfinch, which is a soft red. We've got Forest Pigeon. It does give you the names. Let's see if that can show. It does give you them on the back there. Um, this is a pale blue for Forest Pigeon. Let's see if we can get this. Then we have got green woodpecker and apparently this is a green with a yellow hint. Oops. There we go. Partridge which is a warm brown. one doesn't want to move. Gotcha. There we go. And then our final one is Raven, which um, apparently is a blackish black. There we go. So those are the six colours that are um, part of this particular set. What I'm going to do, let's see how I can do this, let's move them that way. 
and then we might still be able to get them in. So I am going to swatch them in my Painter's Colour Diary and add them to my deep, deep light that I already have. But I am going to do some bigger swatches in my, this is my Sea White of Brighton um, sketch pad that I use to do swatching and testing of um, things out in. So um, I will put this big one here and I will move this one it will have to be out of sight because I think this is probably the one that's more interesting for everyone to see and I'm hoping that on this page I will have a bit of room to do a bit of mixing as well so let's find my watercolour brush let's go with my trusty Van Gogh which is a size 8 round and they said to activate them so we will just add a little drop of water to each of them and we will start with great tit which is that warm warm yellow I might pick these up to do it. That'd be easier. Make sure we get plenty on the brush. Wow. That is a lovely colour. So let's pick this one up because I haven't put magnets on them yet so they'll just move about a bit. So Bullfinch is this soft red. I've really started to quite like uh, doing some birds. So I'm hoping that these colours might be really useful for me. Oh, quite a bit of water there, but never mind. There they are. I'll let that tail off. Then we have got our forest pigeon, which is this pale blue. Maybe not quite so pale. That is a lovely blue. Wow. I was worried that that might be a little bit too pale. Oh, but it's not. It's lovely. Right, woodpecker, green woodpecker, which is the green with a hint of yellow in it. Oh, I'm loving these colours together. Look at that. Then we have got Partridge. Oh, and I've forgotten to do my colour diary, haven't I? Right. Right, this is our warm brown. And then Raven, which is a blackish black. That was their description. Blackish black. So, whilst they are drying, I'm going to quickly do my colour diary that I forgot to do 
and then we'll do a bit of mixing. I'm just really, whoops, yeah, we went a bit overboard with the water there. I'm just really impressed with how these colours go so nicely together. Wow. Okay, so you can see that I am building up my selection of deep, deep light watercolours. Right, anyway, let's go back to this. I'm going to let that dry and then over here we're going to play with some colours. Okay, so here we go. This is Great Tit, our warm yellow. Then we have Bullfinch, which is that warm red. Forest Pigeon, which they said was a pale blue, but I think it looks a little bit more like an indigo. Green Woodpecker, which is a green with a yellow tinge, which you can see. Partridge, which is a warm brown. That's a nice brown. Look at that. And then Raven, which is the blackish black. So there we have those six colours called the Winter Birds collection. Um, so let's just do one of my splodges over here and see what happens when we start getting them to mingle on the page. Wow, wow. They do all seem to go quite nicely. The yellow kind of goes quite, if I put it over here on the edge, the yellow ends up a bit mustardy from the other colours. Um, but apart from that, they do seem to go quite nicely. So, there we go. There is that particular palette. So, what I will do now is these little, let's turn this round. Hopefully they are. No, they're not in shot. Okay, let's do it. 
a different way then if we put this up this way I'll move it down then we'll try some of these dots I'll label them up as I go so let's see where's my pen here we go so cranberry these I don't actually have any of these colors so it would be good to see what they're like and I'll just do them as little dots I think so there's cranberry that's very transparent What have we got next? Wild berry. I'm trying not to put my hand in my wet blob over there while it dries. So let's have a go with wild berry then. Oh, this looks more magenta like. Definitely. There is our wild berry. What have we got next? Mm. Something dream. I might have to. Green. I'm not too sure what that colour is. So, and it looks like it's a green of some kind. I will try and look it up on their website and put the name above it in a bit. But something dream. We've got Bilberry. This looks interesting. Let's see what you're like, Bilberry. Oh, it's a kind of a grey purple. Very nice. There's Bilberry. What have we got next? Oh, I've already got that one, so I'm not going to swatch that. That's Rose Ashes, so I've already shown you that in a previous video. Let's do Cowslip. slips there that's a very pale yellow this one is called royal yellow oh let's write it down Who knows, these might be some of the colours I order next, we will see. Royal yellow. It's quite a deep, it's a deep yellow. We've got gold ochre. I think 
I might do this in future where they send dots. I'm going to do them in these little round circles. Because then I'll know that that's what they were. They were little dots. That's a nice colour, gold ochre. Right, coming up, rose hip. I'm really liking bilberry, and I really like this one that I cannot read. I'm going to have to see if I can find that on the website. Oh, rose hip looks nice. Oh, oh. Look at that. Ooh. Loving that one. I'm just going to get my computer firing up and see if I can find that colour while we're... Let's go to shop. Single half pan colours. Something dream. Anyway, while I'm trying to multitask, let's do this last colour, which is fern. Another one that I don't have. Oh, that's a nice green. Oh, there are some nice colours there. Right, let's just have a scroll and see if I can find this colour then. Hmm. Do you know? I cannot find it. Hmm. Well, that is very strange. Perhaps it's one that they don't do anymore and they've just got a little dot. But it's not showing up on the website at all. Oh! Rotor's Dream. There it is. Okay, I found it. Wow, yes. Okay, let's bring these little, um, well, first of all, I'll bring this up a bit closer so you can see all the, those colours merging. It's always good to do that because, you know, we, we then know what's going to happen when they're on the page. And then we have Cranberry. Wildberry. This is that Rotor's Dream, which is stunning. Purple and greens in there. Bilberry, which I really love. There's cowslips, very delicate. Royal yellow. And then I might have to move around a bit. Gold ochre. Rose hips, which I absolutely adore. And I really quite like fern as well. 
So there are several there that I really like. Let's just move this back around that way again and get it all in view. I mean, that rose hip just glows, doesn't it? Rotor's Dream, Bilberry, even Cranberry's rather nice, rose hip. I do like the gold ochre, but you can see how the royal yellow has a bit of a glow to it as well. I do like quite a lot of these actually. They could well be my next set of Deep Deep Light. But there we go. Those are the Wild Birds set of six. And I got all of those lovely dots and this tin. So I'm going to be putting magnets on the bottom, labelling these. And um, I've got some water in there. Um, I will put the rest of my deep, deep light colours in there. So, just as a reminder, here we go. Buff Reed, Gold Ochre, English Red, Gerda's Pink, Rose Ashes, they sent me a, a colour dot of, but I've already got that. Juniper, Lapis Lazuli, and we've got indigo which is an Indian indigo bent grass masher's green mother earth dragonfly they sent me a dot of which is why I haven't done that either we've got burnt sienna we've got kaput mortem and then these new ones here great tit Bullfinch, Forest Pigeon, Green Woodpecker, Partridge and Raven. So this is building up my selection of deep, deep light watercolours. And I use them in... I showed this in a previous video, but... Um, this is the beetle sketchbook that I got from Deep Deep Light and I'm using it to do some little animals and birds and things in Oops. And a little harvest mouse and a pheasant so, oh and I forgot I did a stalk no, a heron as well so that's how I'm using this. So I hope you've all enjoyed seeing some more deep, deep light watercolours. A bit later on today, if I get a chance. I'm not sure when I will put these videos up, but um, I will be doing the watercolour papers and comparing those. And they're, they're the papers that are easy for me to get here in the UK. So... Um, okay, see you next time hopefully. Please uh, subscribe if you can and hit the notification bell. Until next time, take care.